channel welcome back to my channel hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back to my channel what is up guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl Jamia. for those of you that are new here welcome to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget to like comment and share with a friend or family member so you are up to date when i post a new video to my returning subscribers welcome back baddies welcome back besties let's get into this video y'all so i feel like this video was very much well needed um because a lot of people the things i'm going to discuss is really on my perspective on my experience as being a mom some of the things i feel like a lot of people don't really talk about um so i'm actually really excited to do this sit down um video it's a little bit different i didn't really share i haven't really shared my experiences being a mom much unless you're you know you know me um we're close or whatever y'all my hair shrink like the shrinkage is real but anywho um we'll save this hair for another day but anyway, so yeah, this video is basically gonna be of me explaining, you know, one year later after being a mom um, and my experience and how it has been. I was like, why not do this video? I feel like people are interested. I did ask some questions on my Instagram um, at underscore underscore Jamia C. Make sure you go ahead and follow me. It's always in the description down below, but I will insert a picture right here, you know? Um, but yeah, I just feel like there was a question that Someone had told me to talk about as far as, you know, after pregnancy or whatever. So basically, this video is a little bit, like I said, about my experience, my personal experience, and how I feel. So one year later, after being a mom, it is absolutely amazing. Like, being a mother is just amazing. I love being a mom. Um, I really do. I have a passion for it. Like, what do you mean you have a passion for it? If you're a mom, you ain't got a choice but to be a passion. I just, I guess I should say I have a passion for children. Like, I love kids. I love them so much. And I've always wanted to be a mom. So, one year later of me being a mom, my experience, I say the only thing, I will start off by saying what was the hardest part for me being a first-time parent, a first-time mom. The, first, the thing that was hard for me was breastfeeding, I could say. In the beginning, my breastfeeding, breastfeeding experience was rough. Um, I dealt with a lot of mastitis, and it was just a lot, like too much. So I dealt with that, and that really was the hardest part for me. Um, and now, like, I'm literally still in the process of weaning my son off of the group. And that, to me, is really a challenge. A lot of people don't talk about, um, I found some stuff on Pinterest, you know, to help me out, to help the weaning process stop. And honestly, it, it's been rough. Like, we've been good through the day. Like, he doesn't ask for the boob all throughout the day. But at nighttime is the hardest part because, honestly, it's more of a comfort thing. Like, he, it's more of him wanting to know, like, I'm still here. Um, and honestly, it's, he literally wants the boob to fall asleep and he doesn't need that like you you don't need that like what else can i provide for you he's one and i'm ready to stop like i need myself back i need me back so that is why and you know to people that continue on to breastfeeding that's wonderful that's absolutely wonderful that's your decision but me i am i've i've, I've, I've had my year and I'm truly blessed. I'm truly thankful to be able to have done it a whole year. Thank God, especially with the experience that I started with at the beginning. It was absolutely rough. So I'm grateful to have been able to finish out a whole year of breastfeeding. And, you know, my time will come again when I have another child in the near future. So, yeah, but honestly, um, that's been the, the most hardest part for me. The beginning with dealing with mastitis and then the right now the weaning off process like like i said we all throughout the day he doesn't ask for it and it's been going on for like over a week now about to be two weeks tomorrow and then at night um i just been trying to think of some other things to do like um i give him this cup like we've got a whole situation like i play some music you know you just have to find what works what works best for you and that's what we're in the process of doing now and we will get through this but yeah, yeah overall 
that's the hardest thing that I have had to deal with as far as um, being a first time mom, a first time parent. Um, a question that someone asked me, and I kind of, I'm glad I saved it for this video because it kind of goes, you know, it goes with it simply because it's dealing with a parent, first time mom. Someone asked me if I dealt with postpartum depression and I can honestly say that I did not. Um, I feel like I did it simply because I had a lot of support from my boyfriend, like, oh my God, like, <laughs> He had so much support from him. And not only that, like, I just feel like having my son was truly a blessing. Like, the things that I dealt with being pregnant, like, it wasn't major, but, like, I lost a lot of iron to where I was having to get iron infusions when I was pregnant. So, that kind of, like, that was draining, having to go get iron infusions. Like, it was, like, literally every Saturday for like towards the end of my pregnancy but um overall i don't think i well i don't think i know that i didn't deal with any postpartum depression but i will say that if you do feel like if you are you know um in your postpartum stages right now and you feel like that you are depressed having postpartum depression please talk to somebody please reach out to somebody that you're comfortable with or even if you want to reach out to me like i know you all don't know me that well. You only know me by watching my videos. You're living through my videos and that is perfectly okay. But like I said, postpartum is a really, really, really important thing. And I, I really don't want, if you're dealing with this right now, I don't want you to have to deal with this alone. You don't have to comment down below, but if you do follow my Instagram, feel free to DM me and I can assist you in the best way that I can. But if not, please talk to somebody that you are close with Please just vent. Even if like you're in your postpartum, not postpartum. Even if you're in your, um, yeah, sorry. Um, if you're in your postpartum stages right now, and you just need some time, just like to yourself, like simply go take a shower. Go take a shower and just take that time to think, to relax. The baby will be fine. The baby will be fine. Or you know um call a friend over you know to have them to watch the baby for a few hours your boyfriend your husband your spouse your wife you know um please please reach out to somebody if you feel like you are having postpartum depression and you need to talk to somebody it is so so serious it's it postpart like pregnancy alone is it can be very very tough it can be challenging um we literally go through a lot we're carrying a whole baby so please um but yeah it, it's yeah it, it's really serious and it's sad that people really go through this and they don't have any support you know to talk to somebody but again if you do have someone to talk to please reach out don't be afraid to ask for help that was my problem too i can't say um, not really as far as depression, but like asking for help, like, and I had to learn, like, it literally takes a village to raise a child. I didn't understand that until I became a mom, but it's, it, it's so true. And I thank God for my village, seriously. Um, another thing that I wanted to, you know, discuss was, do, do I see kids in my future? Yes, like, I want more kids, like. I don't want to just have one kid. I've always wanted a big family. Um, family is everything to me. If you know me, then you know. So I feel like I want to expand my family in the future. Of course, I want my son to have siblings. <laughs> but yeah, um, and I just, it's just like, I don't know. Like when my mom died, it was, thank God I had my sister um, to be there because if I was alone, I don't know what I would do. Um, and it is, I feel like giving your child a sibling, your first child a sibling is just, it's, it's really good. It has its benefits. I know some people are like one and done and I get it. I understand. I don't know what you went through, but like I said, pregnancy is a hard thing. Having kids are a lot in general, but, and what I want to do, I do want to have more kids. I do want to be able to give my son siblings in the near future. So thank God willing thank god for my one but praying that i'll be able to have more in the future um also 
one year later from being a parent um another thing that i will say is um what i had to do with like i work from home so um that was another going back to the breastfeeding i should have i forgot to say this but um it, it it was hard it's it still is kind of hard well not really during the day because like i said he really doesn't ask for it but at first when i first did it it was hard because he was always you know wanting to be up under me um because like i'm literally here like it's li we're literally home all day um and that's all he wanted so that was another thing that was worth for me um in the beginning but we're good now like i said as far as the breastfeeding sorry y'all i'm playing with my hair on my head brush uh but yeah that was the only thing that was really hard for me i will say there are people out there that are like don't have kids don't have kids um get your financial together there's never i mean um make sure you're prepared to me i feel like you can never be prepared for a kid like you they they're gonna come you're just gonna have to work with it like you're gonna have to just adjust your life to your child's life and that's like i said this is my opinion i feel like you can't really prepare for a child like it you just can't like when they come you just get whip into shape you just whip into shape and literally everything will fall into place so if you're thinking about having kids don't let you know you saying i need to prepare what are you preparing for you got this like you got this believe in yourself everything will all fall into place when the baby gets here believe me um but if you're, you're really not ready then don't have, you don't have to have kids but i feel like kids are a blessing we um are literally here to okay that's for another subject anyways i feel like if you that's a cheerleader in me y'all so y'all catch me doing all this that is a cheerleader in me <laughs> i ain't gonna do that but um yeah if you feel like you're wanting to have kids i say go for it i'm here for it but yeah um that was just some things that i really wanted to touch on as far as you know a year later of being a mom overall like i said my experience so far has been absolutely amazing i love my son so freaking much he literally <laughs> reminds me of me and his dad literally a good mixture um he's stubborn with his little stubborn self but i just love him so much um but yeah so if you all have anything that you all want to you know discuss as far as postpartum pregnancy um being a mom whether you're a first time mom or not or if you have anything good advice that you all want to share go ahead and comment that down below or if you don't really want to talk about your personal issues but you do want some advice i can help you the best way i can um go ahead and hit me up my dms at underscore underscore jimmy c and make sure um you know that anything you want to talk about feel free i'm here um like i said i don't know you personally i won't judge you but this is me sharing my experience so if you just feel like you want to share yours that's perfectly fine or if you're going through you know postpartum and you don't have anybody to talk to like i said please dm me if you don't have anybody else to talk to um or if you do please reach out don't be afraid to reach out to your friends um your close friends or family um, or even your spouse also um you know uh please comment down below if you have kids right now um, how many kids you have and their ages um, my son is one so of course i said one year later um and also if you plan to have more kids you know let me know that as well or if you've also dealt with um have any advice as far as weaning um your child off from the booth or anything like that please comment down below also comment down below any other video ideas that you all have for me i'm willing to do it um i'm excited for this journey um i really want to be consistent with you all so please comment down below any video ideas don't be afraid um also i am still doing the good molecules giveaway literally still doing it and i'm actually going to do a skincare routine with me doing showing you all the products that i use um i think i'm going to go ahead and do that tonight so i can show you all what i'm using 
And um, so please go ahead and enter that giveaway. The details are on my Instagram at underscore underscore Jumia C. Um, I'm gonna plan on posting this video right now today. So um, the, uh, the giveaway deadline actually ends tomorrow um, at, I think I said 11.59. Um, yeah, so please, 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 and I'll be announcing the winner. I think I said on Sunday. Yeah, I'll be announcing the winner on Sunday, sorry. So please, please, please go ahead and enter that free giveaway. Like, it's absolutely free. I'm literally picking three people. I'm gonna, once I pick these three people, um, I'm gonna send you all some information to um, Good Molecules, and they're literally gonna ship out your products. So please enter this free giveaway. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is literally follow me, follow Good Molecules, like, comment a friend and then there's extra um entries that you can do as far as follow my hair page tiktoks and um also subscribing to my channel if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and do so so go ahead and end that giveaway y'all it's absolutely free literally and also make sure you all head over to my hair page at under no it's not underscore sorry my hair page i'm thinking of my my personal my hair page stranded glamour underscore um, please go ahead and follow me and we are having 10% off up until Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Go ahead and get that sale, y'all. It is our refresh sale. Um, I needed some time off after having my baby. Um, but yeah, so thank you all so very much for watching my video. I really do appreciate all the support. Again, welcome my new subscribers. I'm glad to have you and my returning subscribers, my returning besties and glamour baddies. Thank you all so much for your support as well. Um, please comment down below anything that you all want to see, anything at all, okay? And that pretty much wraps up this video. Thanks guys so much for watching. Peace out.